I call that transitioning. You know when a song gets inside your head and heart? Uh, one minute you're doing this, the next minute you're doing that. How did they even connect and what do they have to do with each other? Is it part of the continuation or is it the expectation? So I always like to make little sounds. I have a friend. His name is Bill. Bill looked at me the other day and he says, man, I'm always I'm always creating these sounds. It, it, it helps bring peace to me. And I said, you damn straight it does. That means you're tapped into the universe, baby. When you when you can allow sounds to escape your body, it's it's like you're, you're, everything about you is is exerting the energy towards somebody else to pick it up because what you release may not be for you, but it's very possible it could be for somebody else. And when when what you have released has hit somebody else, they're going, oh, or they're going, oh, you know, and that's that's what I love about being a human being is that we make these sounds. And it doesn't even have to be words. It can just be a sound. It can be a sigh. It can, it can, it's like through meditation when I breathe in. There's a big possibility. Somebody, somewhere, needed that. Hmm. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess. A chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's junk like this that does not belong to me. And I'm just planting a seed, being aware of where you stand, where you're growing, not where you've been. The past is the past. Get get, get over it. Ah, you lived it already, man. It's like watching a movie over and over and over again. Don't get away from your past and your future is so unpredictable. It's like, why are you investing in something? You're, you're just writing a story that hasn't happened. Live in the presence of now. This is the daily mess. You know, I was talking about those songs that are always in your head. This morning, the battle hymn of the Republic is playing over and over. And I'm not sure why. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. I stop in moments like this because the memories of the music that was playing inside my head on September 11, 2001 serves as a reminder to pay very close attention to the songs that are set free inside your heart. On that day, September 11, 2001, while I was daily writing, remember, I write before the sun rises. On that day, and it is well documented, I was humming Amazing Grace before those planes hit the tower. Oh, I questioned it. I didn't understand it. The way I finally broke free of it was, I was just thinking my mom was channeling her beautiful energy into my soul. When music takes over, your walk and way, what happens is, is that they take the time to listen to your entire being. Sometimes when that song appears in your head and you're going, geez, why am I singing the Jay Giles band? Love stinks. Go look at the lyrics. Go see what that song is in the way that you're going to receive it. Use your Google as a tool, not as something that's going to give you a high. Songs are messages, not for this moment, but for a thousand years from today. I'm blessed with the opportunity to talk to a lot of creative people, especially songwriters. And and how they talk about something is still around 50 years after it was created. In fact, this, this is this, he's not a songwriter, but I was with uh, Marty Croft yesterday from Sid and Marty Croft. And... What's really fascinating about sitting down with with, uh, Marty is that he doesn't stop creating. 50 plus years in the industry, and he's still bringing things together to entertain people. And, And you can't help but sit there and think, well, what am I doing today that actually serves as a seed in someone's tomorrow, 50 years from today? How are they going to use it? For instance, the writer of the Battle Hymn of the Republic, would they have known that in 2022, you and I would be talking about this right now? And, 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 the, and the really weird part about this is, I'm in 2022 in this place of now, but where are you? What, what year is it? What month? Is it summertime yet? Is it winter? How did you fall into this moment where we're together? 
that's what inspires me. That's that's what gives me energy to say, hi, my name is, by the way, can can you talk? I I just want to have a conversation. I, I, I don't want to blurt something out there on social media. I, I, I don't want to show you pictures. No. I just want to talk. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. I'm going to carry that with me throughout the day. Because for some reason, the person who wrote this song meant it to be. And now, it's a seed. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.